Hey Scorpios, welcome back to the channel. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with the Scorpio Tarot 888. So I hope you guys are doing amazing. All right, everyone. So we're going to tap in. We're going to see what's going on. Please only take what resonates with you. Leave what doesn't. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. You can have Scorpio as your sun, moon, rise, and Venus placements. Doesn't matter. Excuse me. The reading can resonate with you. And of course, if you are returning, welcome back. If you are a cross watcher, please only take what resonates with your situation. The roles can be reversed, okay? All right. So let's get into this channel message reading. Spirit, angels, guides, and divine ancestors. <coughs> what do we have for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, Venus placements. And of course, y'all know shadows making all that noise again. Please protect my energy as I open the spiritual portal. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Turn all dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, blockages, monitoring spirits away from my home, channel, and sacred space. Return the energy back to sender. Tenfold, some more to be. Amen and amen. All right. All right. What do we have for Scorpio? Channel message reading. <clears throat> what do we have for Scorpio? What's going on within their energy? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to all of you. Make sure that you have, um, make sure you guys have your um, notification bell on so that's where you will know when I go live or post readings, okay? So, overall energy here, we have unfazed. Unfazed. So, as you see, we have a young lady on this photo that is basically unbothered. She's focusing on her own energy, kind of sitting with herself, enjoying her tea. So, it looks like you're unbothered by someone or a situation. You're very unfazed right now. Hmm. All right. So, let's see what's going on here. All right. <laughs> Tell me about unfazed for Scorpio. Now, of course, this can be your energy or someone else's energy who's unbothered, unfazed right now. All right. Tell me about unfazed. Clarified unfazed for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right. So we have here the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me more unfazed for Scorpio. What's going on here, Spirit? You may be unfazed that because I saw the uh, third party energy at the bottom of the deck, but someone could have started a new relationship with someone else, and I feel like this is not bothering you, or either you're unbothered with relationships right now, maybe having a new beginning. It's like you're really more focusing on yourself. All right. So we got the six of cups here. Hmm. Something is like you're unfazed about something from your past. Something or someone from your past that possibly wants to reconcile with you. Hmm. We have the magician here, the moon, seven of swords. Oh, okay. So it looks like to me, there could be a Gemini Virgo here that could be, I feel like you're unfazed because you know that this person has some old tricks up their sleeve or they're hiding something or you feel like this is always someone who's trying to manipulate a situation. You feel like this person is very sneaky and deceptive here, trying to come towards you or trying to come up with a way to reconcile with you, but you're not trying to hear it. You're stopping someone from coming anywhere towards your energy. You may have already set up boundaries, but looks like you may be leaving someone out in the cold here. Hmm. Yeah, it's almost like you feel like someone is coming up with a way. It's like they're strategizing something, planning something. Trying to manipulate a situation. But let's see. Let's get a little deeper. What's the Ace of Cups when it comes to unfazed? Thank you. All right. So Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Tell me more. Yeah, I just feel like you're not focusing on love right now. If anything, you're focused on your stability, security, your kids, home, finances. You're paying attention to that pentacle. 
What's the Ace of Cups? Yeah, it's like you're not even focused on love right now, to be honest. Yeah, you're holding back. <laughs> Four Pentacles. You're holding back from whoever this individual is that is missing you or feeling left out in the cold or abandoned. <laughs> you are very unbothered right now. This is the energy of child. I got things to do. I got bills to pay, kids to raise, my career to focus on. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of you guys are not really focused on love. It's more about your stability right now. And even if someone from your past is wanting to reconcile, you're still not giving your energy to that. Mm. Wow. All right, what's the Six of Cups when it comes to unfazed? For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio, you may have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, somewhere within your birth chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whatever. Or you're just in that divine feminine energy with the Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, so Two of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. It's like you made your mind up about anything or anyone from your past. Anyone you have a past life with. People that are a part of your past. You're, un you're not bothered by the energy anymore. I heard nothing doesn't surprise me. <laughs> All right. So six of wands. So we have sixes here. Six, six. Hmm. Pick it up. <laughs> it, it seems like there's someone who's trying to get your attention, but you're so unfazed with this energy. Hmm. We have Ten of Wands, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like because you're not paying them any attention or... Because of the fact that you're so unfazed. It's kind of like you know that an ex possibly wants you back, but you're not giving it any attention. This is what's stressing this person out. This is what's weighing heaven on their shoulders because they are willing to do whatever it takes to win you back or reconcile. But you've made up your mind to just kind of stay unbothered. Yeah. And with that Knight of Swords being here, they want to come towards you and talk, have a conversation, or just come in fast to try to save the relationship, save the friendship, whatever it can be. But I just feel like, honestly, with the Ace of Cups, you're more in like a self-love type of energy. It's not about anyone new in your life. You're just loving yourself. Hmm. Wow. <clears throat> it's like this individual wants to come out of the energy of being stressed and overwhelmed by coming in with a conversation. Wow. All right. So tell me about the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hmm. Hold on one second, y'all. All right, Queen of Pentacles. Tell me more. And of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> we have the Justice card. So it's almost like you brought justice to yourself. Mm -hmm. You're being humble and obedient to your spirit team, the whole universe here. This is, I'm only taking accountability for me. I'm unbothered. I'm on the face about people, places, situations from my past that's trying to get my attention. Mm. What is the Four of Pentacles? Yeah, it's like you brought justice to yourself by putting your energy into other things, you know? What's the Four of Pentacles? 
for Scorpio. It's like everything that you have worked hard for, establish your kind of in that selfish energy, selfish season right now. Oh, too many spirits, it's too many. That was like six cards that flew out. <laughs> All right. So you're definitely, your spirit team is showing up here. Yeah. This is that spiritual awakening. This is self-love, a new beginning for yourself. Kind of like having a commune with yourself. Four pentacles. Thank you. Hmm. All right. Three of cups. Some of you guys may even be not even really communicating with family and friends like you used to. You may be even holding back from them too. Maybe holding back from like going out. Hmm. Wow. Wow. There go that knight of swords <laughs> again. Wow. So it's like you're holding back from reconciling, having a new beginning with someone who's wanting to obviously come after you. This person knows that they could have bred from you in this situation. Things were very one-sided. And it's like they're wanting to apologize for the closure of a relationship to you. Yeah, you're this queen of wands here. Hmm. Wow. So yeah, it looks like you're actually focusing on you. You're leaving someone out in the cold. Because the love that you gave someone else, you're now loving on yourself. And you're holding back. You don't want to reconcile with these family, friends, or this particular person. You're just not... It's almost like you're not in the scene right now. You're not putting yourself in the spotlight. What is the Two of Swords in the reverse for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For Scorpio, you may have, like I said, um, Earth signs in your chart or possibly Libra. What's the two of swords and the reverse <clears throat> for Scorpio? Hmm. Thank you. Wow, I was just about to say that. Actually, what I was going to say was someone is wanting to make it known that they want you back or they want to rekindle something that you guys all, you know, had before and Ace of Pentacles came out. So someone is like, I want to make it known that I want to have another opportunity with you. So we got two aces here. Mm -hmm. Someone is wanting to heal things. They want to make this known like, hey, I've made up my mind. I want you back. Uh, I want to have this opportunity again. Yeah. They want to heal things, rectify things. Hmm. Someone from your past or people from your past. It's almost like they're not coming in, blindsiding you to what they feel, what they think. They're letting it be long. Hey, I want another chance. I want to heal things with you. I want to reconcile. But you're so unbothered right now. Your energy, you're not even focused on that. <laughs> mm. The blessing lies with you. The abundance, prosperity lies with you. All right, let's get the final message. What is the Six of Wands? So the number 66 may resonate. What's Six of Wands? Someone is wanting to get your attention. Like, whatever it takes to do that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have here... Wow, we have the Eight of Swords. Hmm. King of Swords, the High Priestess, King of Cups, that's you. Mm. Mm. 
Hmm. I don't know why. It's almost giving me like someone wants to... It seems like someone has been in their head about speaking to you, communicating with you, being honest and upfront with you. But a lot of you guys, because you're so unfazed, you know, a lot of you guys may have been giving this person the silent treatment. You could have also been guided by possibly Archangel Michael to remain quiet, to remain silent on the situation. Could like almost continue to be unfazed. Yeah. Hmm. Someone is definitely in their feelings here. And I feel like it's this individual. Wow. Their carnival was built no cure. It's like someone can't get you out of their head. They want to communicate with you, talk with you. Mm. This is like someone is trapped in their own mental conflict. Someone is being bounded with the thoughts of you. That's all they do is think about you and having a new beginning with you. Wanting to get your attention, but I feel like someone doesn't really know how. Hmm. Wow. All right, Scorpio. So this is what I have for you. All right. Excuse me. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up. Excuse me. Jeez. Sorry. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next reading. Bye-bye.